Hi, it's November 2017, and a question that I get asked a lot is why doesn't Leica uh, go beyond 24 megapixels in their full frame digital cameras? It's actually a good question uh, to ask, and I think that there's uh, two types of answer that can be given. The first is a uh, business uh, perspective answer, and the other is a photographic or a Leica philosophy uh, perspective uh, answer. I'm going to try and answer it from a business perspective uh, answer um, for Leica first. So let's just wind back uh, the clock a little bit. In September 2006, Leica produced the M8, which was their first digital rangefinder camera. The M8 was an APS, so uh, APS-C 1.33 uh, times crop, and that was a 10 megapixel uh, camera. 10 megapixels in Leica 2000, uh, in September 2006 was very acceptable. Uh, great, uh, great resolution. Um, certainly uh, at uh, the higher end of uh, the resolutions that were available um, at the time for APS-C uh, type uh, sensors. Fast forward three years to uh, sep September 2009, the 9th of September 2009, Leica releases the M9. So the Leica M9 was an 18 megapixel monster uh, and it was full frame. It was uh, the world's first ever full frame mirrorless uh, digital camera and it also demonstrated Leica's commitment to only uh, producing the top quality gear and uh, really uh, pushing the boundaries in uh, what was uh, possible in uh, image uh, quality. Still today, the Leica M9 is uh, regarded as uh, one of the finest uh, digital cameras ever made. So, in, let's fast forward again to 2012 and Leica comes out with the Leica Type M240 or the M240. That's the type I shoot with and I love it. That was a 24 megapixel full frame digital uh, camera and as at uh, today in 2017 you can still buy it. So uh, and you can still buy it new is what I should say. Um, they uh, still manufacture uh, the M240 and uh, the MP type uh, 240. So the Leica uh, M240, 24 megapixels, you can get AO size and beyond size prints uh, with 24 megapixels and it looks great. In 2012, 24 megapixels uh, was uh, definitely at uh, the high end of uh, full frame uh, digital uh, camera resolution. Nikon did have uh, the Nikon D800 at 36 megapixels. Uh, but 24 megapixels was very acceptable at the time and uh, very highly regarded. So we've had then 2013, 2014, 2015, and we've seen some 40 and 50 uh, megapixel uh, full frame uh, cameras uh, out since then, 2016, and now we're at the end of 2017. The beginning of 2017, Leica released the M10 and there was a lot of people on the forums and me too I was expecting that to be at least a 36 megapixel uh, camera given particularly now we've got cameras such as the Nikon D850 which are what like 45 megapixels the Sony a7R3 something like 47 megapixels is it? And uh, there's also uh, been some pressure from uh, Fuji and uh, Hasselblad with medium format 50 megapixel cameras so, the beginning of this year, why did Leica release the M10 with only 24 megapixels? Well, I think uh, there's a few... I think you, you have to uh, look at what they released in 2015 um, to answer that. At the end of 2015, Leica released the Leica SL, uh, their full-frame uh, mirrorless digital SLR. And at 24 megapixels in 2015, that was reasonably highly uh, regarded. Um, 
Leica definitely um, has pushed uh, the boundaries uh, with uh, what they uh, can do in a camera at that uh, in a camera uh, at that level. Um, it's got an extremely uh, high uh, speed uh, burst rate, um, but arguably they could have uh, upped uh, the sensor resolution and still maintained uh, that burst rate. But why didn't they go beyond 24 megapixels uh, in 2015 for uh, the SL? Well. I think that was from a business perspective to try and protect the Leica M Type 240 sales. So they didn't uh, go up, uh, they didn't up the resolution of the SL uh, because they wanted to protect the 24 megapixel 240 sales. And also in 2015, they released the Leica M262, which was also a 24 megapixel camera. So they wanted to try and maintain. Um, parity with the resolution across all of their full-frame uh, cameras so that one didn't uh, adversely affect the sales of the other. And I think uh, from that uh, perspective we've actually uh, got the answer as to why the Leica M10 didn't go beyond uh, 24 uh, megapixels either because Leica wanted to protect the sales of the Leica SL. So from a business perspective I can see why Leica is holding back at uh, the 24 megapixel uh, level for their full frame cameras. At some time, they are gonna have to um, exceed the 24 megapixel uh, level. And I'd like to think that maybe when the M11 or the M12 comes out, uh, they improve uh, the sensor uh, resolution. But there's also uh, the Leica philosophy and the photographic uh, philosophy uh, perspective uh, to the answer. And this is what I think is a lot more beautiful. Firstly, Leica will never do something that would adversely affect uh, something else within their business. So if, for example, Leica was to increase the sensor resolution of uh, one of uh, their full frame cameras, that could mean that um, the that they might have an issue with uh, increased noise in the image, or they might adversely affect dynamic range. And uh, the Leica M10's dynamic range and is just awesome, and their um, pretty much noiseless performance at uh, ultra high ISOs on uh, the M10 is absolutely brilliant. I'm sorry guys, I live near an airport. Um, some of these planes tend to get into uh, some of uh, my videos. I apologize. So, where was it? Now, Leica's not going to um, up uh, the resolution of one of their sensors if it means that uh, their final images uh, could have less dynamic range or more noise in, uh, the, in the final uh, picture. So that's a beautiful thing from their philosophy. They're going to perfect what they know and really drive perfection with the essentials in a, uh, in a camera. You can also argue that um, they could be concerned that uh, the performance of some of their lenses might not uh, work uh, brilliantly at um, uh, resolutions that exceed 24 megapixels. Uh, now, that's an interesting question. I'm just going to show you some portraits uh, that I uh, took of uh, myself with my 35mm Simicron uh, here. So, having a look at these images, they've all been taken in exactly the same spot, and I was the same distance from uh, the camera. They were all taken with the same aperture and at the same ISO. The point I want to make here is that they all appear, they're not all as sharp as one another. And that's because the image has been lit in a different way. So the sharp, sharpness um, can be affected by the way an image is lit. Uh, and this again gets back to Leica's uh, philosophy that sharpness is something beyond just uh, lens quality, and Leica definitely makes high quality lenses, and it's also something beyond uh, sensor resolution. I think the other point to remember is that it can be argued that 24 megapixels matches what you can get out of the best quality films. And this, um, that seems to be what Leica uh, 
That seems to be the perspective that Leica uh, takes. And certainly in Leica Digital, you have um, a certain beauty, a certain film look, a certain pop uh, to uh, your images. And maybe Leica, uh, Leica's engineers are um, concerned that uh, you could lose that beauty in the image if they were to try and increase uh, sense of uh, resolution. They want people to focus on the beauty of uh, photography. But what would I like to see in a Leica sensor going forward? Well, I would like them to focus on uh, bringing out uh, a sensor that uh, could natively shoot at lower ISOs. I absolutely love uh, the lower ISOs, uh, but currently, natively on my M240, the lowest uh, ISO that I can uh, shoot at is 200. If I want to go to 100 ISO, I have to pull the 100 uh, ISO. So that means that uh, I actually could lose out on um, the performance of the sensor. So I actually don't go below 200 ISO on my sensor. I would really like to see like a go um, to uh, a lower ISO. Uh, I would like to see Leica uh, improve uh, the resolution because I would like to be able to make some even bigger prints. And I would also like to be able to crop in on uh, some images a bit more. But all of that said, I don't want Leica to adversely affect their dynamic range that uh, they get out of uh, their sensors. And I don't want uh, to see an increase in uh, high ISO noise. So there you have it guys, that's my view on why Leica doesn't exceed 24 megapixels in their full frame digital camera sensors.